Hey, it's Scott here again, and I'm making a little uh, update video on uh, the uh, video I originally made called uh, Goodwill uh, Photo Hunting. If you saw that video, I acquired some vintage cameras. Um, two of them I have here. I have a couple other ones here that I've, I've had for a, a little while. Uh, but what I'm going to show you in this video is kind of a... Uh, synopsis of some research I've done and I'm going to give credit here uh, where credit is due on uh, updating uh, batteries. Um, the quick explanation maybe you've come across a vintage uh, mechanical uh, 35 millimeter rangefinder or SLR camera of maybe like the of the 1960s or 1970s uh, vintage now, what you may uh, know or not know, uh, if you have a manual, you can get a manual for this camera. In fact, one of these sites I'll show you uh, is a good source for manuals, and he, uh, I, he's a great source, in fact, and I would recommend that you give him a couple bucks or whatever because he provides a valuable service. Uh, but the nature of some of these cameras is that they required... Uh, a mercury battery. Now, in uh, the last few years, mercury type batteries are no longer being uh, made or, or used in, in America and probably most of Europe. Uh, they still exist, but you can't really get them here. Uh, they're not really um, used because of environmental and disposal reasons. But uh, you can, there are different uh, substitutions uh, you can use uh, for, for using uh, these cameras. You can still uh, find battery substitutions. Um, but first, before I get too far into this, I want to show you. I just wrote these down, uh, but if you want to, if you can read that. There are three sites here. I mean, there are more. There are so many sites on on photography, uh, but these are some good ones for getting the information you'll need. Uh, if you want to comment on this video, um, if you want to ask me or whatever specific questions, you're probably uh, better off just going to these sites. You'll get the information you'll need. But I just want to depict uh, simply and easily uh, a modification that you can do. It's very actually quite simple. Um, basically you can uh, substitute uh, what a, uh, hearing aid batteries uh, for uh, these old mercury type batteries. Now in some cases you can use, uh, well I should say, well depending on the vintage of your camera, um, some if they specify alkaline or nickel or a silver oxide, you can use those. Uh, but some of these older cameras, um, if they say a mercury battery, you can't use an alkaline because the ratings of an alkaline are usually one and a half volts. Now the mercuries were considered like at 1.35 volts. Um, the, the hearing aid batteries I'll show you, and I'll show you a, a tighter shot when, when I show the cameras. Um, the voltage of these hearing aid batteries is more like 1.35 to 1.4 volts. And you want to use those because the, the alkalines or whatever, if they're rated higher, they're not, they're, they're not basically for two reasons. They're not going to give you an accurate meet, uh, reading in your meter. Uh, if, you, if you take pictures with certain uh, readings, your pictures are going to end up uh, underexposed because your your camera's meter is going to give you a false reading, and also these older cameras, uh, the the electronic circuitry was a little bit more primitive. Um, if you use a more powerful one one and a half volt battery, they they could actually damage that circuitry. Now later vintage cameras of like the, maybe like the 1980s or newer. Um, I don't have it here, but like I have a, a, a Pentax K1000, which was in, in production uh, pretty much towards the end of the film era. That actually will take an alkaline battery, but the reason why it will is because 
the, the nature of alkaline batteries, those button type batteries like this one, you could use an alkaline battery in those newer cameras because those newer camera circuitry uh, had like a voltage regulator type uh, circuitry which will compensate for the drain, the gradual drain of an alkaline battery whereas the older mercury batteries and hearing aid batteries they give more of a constant uh, um, current flow up until they do actually fail. Um, another another uh, um, benefit of these hearing aid batteries is that, is that they are much cheaper uh, than like these other kinds of uh, batteries. Now there are, to be fair, there are a company called Wein, W-E-I-N, and they sell substitute uh, batteries of equivalent sizes. Uh, but they tend to be rather expensive and they don't last uh, nearly as long. Uh, but neither do the hearing aid batteries. But the hearing aid batteries are much cheaper. Okay, here is the uh, size of batteries that we're going to use. They're, they're a 675 size and they're a bit smaller. Uh, than the 625 that these cameras that I'm showing uh, originally take. Uh, but the key to being able to use those is you're going you're gonna to use these uh, little O-ring washers and you can get uh, all different sizes of these at like a hardware store and uh, in this case I've gone to this uh, well-known chain and you go to the plumbing supply department and I've gotten two different sizes here for the for the two different uh, uh, applications, the two different sizes of battery compartments. Uh, in the case of this Minolta, this is a SRT100, and to fit for the battery, this uh, 675 battery to fit this compartment, you basically just just put it on around this battery, and in this case the size they come in different numbered sizes this o-ring is a, a uh, number 41 so a number 41 will go in there and you like like any battery you put it in in the right orientation usually the plus side is going to be fit uh, um, sticking up and in some cases well in some cases you want to have this maybe you might want to pull out the contact in here just a little more and in some cases you may have to take maybe like some aluminum foil or whatever and and make a little bit more to f so that you're going to get a good contact uh, when you put the cap on the metal cap so so this application here is going to be uh, the 675 uh, with that uh, number 21 or I'm sorry number 41 uh, o-ring washer Now sometimes if you're lucky, um, you'll, you'll be able to find one that takes the equivalent size. And in this case of this Vivitar, um, it actually takes a 6, 7, uh, 6 7, 5 size battery. So the original uh, Mercury 675 can be substituted with your 675 um, hearing aid battery with no need for a washer or anything. I, I, I tested it with this and it works it works excellent. It works perfectly. Now in the case of this knicker mat, um, the battery compartment is a little bit larger uh, but it still has the metal the metal cap and it has maybe a little more um, robust little contact in there. And and Due to my research, I was found I ended up getting a. Uh, this is a number nine. It's a little bit, little bit bigger, uh, washer. And here's what it looks like here. And the same. It's the same principle. It, you you put it in there, and it, it works, and it stays in place, and it works with the same characteristics as the original. Uh, mercury battery. So that's the application there for this knicker mat. Now I'm showing another one here. Now this is going to be a different. 
yeah, you can use um, electronically. You could use a hearing these same hearing aid batteries in this uh, Nikon F uh, photo mic. Photo mic. It has a uh, meter prism, but the problem is you can't use the uh, rubber washer method because uh, the characteristics of this battery uh, compartment are a little bit different. The the battery contact uh, makes contact with the inner walls and there's actually this takes two batteries instead of one so you so you can't use the rubber washer method because the battery doesn't make positive contact uh, with the cap the cap is act for this camera the cap is actually plastic not metal so it doesn't make a um, an electrical circuit uh, to modify these hearing aid batteries to use in this is much more complicated you have to make like a a kind of a metal surround. Um, there are there are these uh, websites um, there are actually people who will, who, will, who have made uh, I think it's like brass metal uh, surrounds that you can put around your batteries and, and use it in, in, in this uh, specific model camera. So I thought I'd show that because not not you can't always use uh, uh, this rubber washer method with some of these cameras. So I hope you got something out of this video and uh, like I said, look at those websites I showed and they'll give you uh, specific information. There are other, other options too. Uh, so with that, uh, thank you and uh, happy shooting.